All right, so I'm fine tuning the speech compression on this uh, console five, this SB console five. And I think that there is, um, I wouldn't say confusion, but there's kind of like this mystery behind um, adjusting the speech compressor boards. And it's really not that difficult. Uh, all you need is a oscilloscope, and you need to put a thousand hertz tone through the mic <clears throat> or inject it through the uh, microphone jack, however you want to do it. Uh, I'm going to use the 1040 um, CB Service Master. Sorry, I'm losing my, uh, <laughs> my, my thoughts here, but um, I think it's easier if I show you exactly what I mean, but when the manual says, you know, adjust for um, max, but without any distortion, you can actually visualize that on the scope. So you're going to see a kind of like a lopsided waveform, or it's going to look clipped on the edges. And that's exactly what you don't want to introduce um, into the uh, transmit of the radio. So the thing to do is to adjust these two VRs. Um, this one here is VR1, and that's VR2. Careful with this right here. I already got bit by this. Uh, it's 110 there. That's it'll give you a nasty bite. Won't kill you, but um, hurts like a you know what. Um, anyway, yeah. So we're going to be adjusting these two. I'm going to make this a nice short video. Try to remove the mystery behind these speech compression boards. Uh, obviously, if you don't have an oscilloscope, you can't do this. You can't just kind of, you know, wing it. Uh, you need to actually visualize the waveform and see it. Uh, there's just no other way to do it. And you need a means of injecting a thousand hertz tone uh, into the radio. So if you can't do those two things, then don't even touch this. Uh, that's just how it is. But um, I'm going to set you guys up on a tripod and you're going to be... What I'm, because I can't have, I can't be recording at two different things at the same time. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adjusting uh, VR1 and VR2. When you guys are going to see the scope, I'll have the camera facing the scope, and you can actually see the distortion. And I'll kind of explain, um, you know, what's what's going on. So let me guys, let me get you guys set up on a tripod, and uh, we'll get to it right away. All right, stand by. All right, I think you guys can see the scope pretty well. And I will point out what's going on. If you guys can't see it, I'm sure you guys will notice it. So, um, all right, we'll put a thousand hertz tone through the mic. You can see the waveform. Okay. You can see as of right now, it's nice symmetrical waveform it's not distorted so right now because i've already adjusted this um compression board but watch so i'm moving vr1 now you see how it's starting to look distorted you see how it's more almost oblong more towards the other way yeah that's one and now see how i touched the other one look at that now the top is starting to clip so that was adjusting VR2 and VR1. So you see how, without even changing the modulation level, just by adjusting, just by adjusting this compression board, you can see that the waveform is no longer symmetrical, and that's what you're shooting for. So, so you adjust for max without distortion. So move the VRs to the maximum, both of them, without having anything look distorted. And it's, it's that simple. That's how I do it. So let me go back, adjust the VR. Adjust the other one. All right. That's probably a 
good right there. That's pretty much it, so. All right. That's basically it. That's all, that's all there is to adjusting these compression, uh, speech compression boards. So let me pop you out of, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. So. Okay. Yeah, that's it guys. Mystery solved.